Hey guys, I am back with a makeup tutorial for Fashion Art Toronto, this time for the fabulous designer Gervacci, and we are doing this show on October 21st, and I'm pretty excited about this look. So, to start, the focus of the look is actually going to be the lips which I'm super excited about. Uh, the designer has decided to create some clear plastic masks, so that's exciting, and we're really gonna make that pop with the maroon lip. Now, the key is going to be making sure that that lip stays on your lip and hopefully not transferring onto the mask. I mean, it's not the end of the world if it does, but it'd be really nice to keep it. So the best way to do that is to actually use matte products. Not my favorite. Um, my lips get very dry and flaky, so I really, um, like moisturizing, but we're gonna go with a matte lip. So I have pulled out this um, Wander lip that I got from Tri Beauty Box, and you can just see the color is what we're going for. So uh, we're going for maroon. Did I mention that? Maroon lip. Um, so I have this. I also have this color from Danessa Myricks, and I cross-referenced it, referenced it with actually the Pantone color uh, maroon just so I could have like the real color of maroon and for the day of the show I'm actually gonna bring this product or something similar and we'll have a product on hand so that everybody can get a lip touch-up on site Okay, so if you don't happen to have this color, no worries. We're gonna make sure it's on location But for your prep at home, we're gonna make sure we take care of the skin. So I'm going to walk through with my toner with my pore minimizing serum and then with my face oil followed by my custom blend foundation uh, so we're gonna do that for a skin prep we will set it with a light powder just so that it stays all day um, as well if you have a makeup setting spray I will use that to make it all set at the end we will do a natural contour and highlight so I have here a shape and sculpt duo from my kit uh, that Basically, we want to make sure our contour is cool toned. Please do not use your bronzer. Oh, uh, it just is too warm and it really looks muddy over the video and on the runway, so we don't want that, okay? Um, real contour, but a powder contour. And we're gonna do it nice and light. We want very natural looking skin. So I'm gonna walk you through how we do that. And um, for the eyes, we just want them to be clean. So I'm actually gonna use my Danessa Mirix, um, uh three eyeshadows. Now these are matte and we can actually use a hint of shimmer and I do have, now this is my personal palette so it's a little bit dirty, okay, but uh, this. So sticking with whatever your skin tones are um, and just using neutral your skin tone shades. And then mascara and we're going to fill in the brows naturally, brush them out so they look nice and natural but full and I think that's all oh and maybe a little bit of a, a light shimmer uh, for a beautiful highlight up on the upper cheekbones so it's like above the mask maybe I mean we're playing with this so to get started I'm going to uh, tone my face first so my first product is just it's actually a rose water that I made Mm. And it's just going to provide a little bit of hydration and soothe my skin. So from there, um, I'm actually going to use, this is a pore minimizing serum, so it kind of um, works, it's got some actives to work with my skin and also hydrates. So I'm using a bit of a multi-product. And I am getting over a cold sore on the tip of my nose. Kind of think of it's adorable, right? And... Uh, for now, I'm just hydrating it and uh, not, not really covering it. There we go. So then after the serum, if you're really dry, you can moisturize. Um, if you're not really dry and you skip moisturizer like I sometimes do, I will top it with a oil. Um, and the oil works to lock in everything underneath it. And if your skin's naturally hydrated, then it just kind of keeps it that way. And then right after I put that oil on, I am going to put on my foundation. What that's going to do is keep my foundation nice and natural looking. 
and remain glowing again, which is what we're going for. So this is just my foundation. It's a custom blend that I whip up. Can you just see that like healthy glow that comes back into my skin? A little dab more for my forehead. And then I'm just gonna dab on a little eye cream underneath my eyes. And you really want to be lightly dabbing this in so that the skin can actually absorb. And I always use my ring fingers. That is the finger that has the least amount of strength. So when you're pressing your hands together, these ones are the weakest. And that's what we use around our eyes because our eyes are super delicate. We want to keep them young looking. <laughs> okay, then I have my hydrating lip balm. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this on. Oh, I just grabbed some fluff. I do have two cats and a dog in this house. Huh. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. There, so it's on nice and thick. I'm gonna let that absorb in while I do my eye makeup. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to just dab this on the back of my hands. This is a super, actually, I'm just gonna put it right on my finger. This is a super light um, nude color and I'm gonna tap it between. Now, if you're using powders, you can go ahead and put on an eye base. So I'm doing the lightest shade on my inner third and then over my mobile lid and then underneath my brow bone and just kind of coming out. Oh, I like that, okay. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to take a middle shade. So this is just a little bit darker than that one. And I'm gonna take this all over my mobile lid. Again, I'm using creams that are matte and stay. And then my last color is just to add a hint of shape to my eye. And I will use this with my little crease brush because I really wanna make a curve. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, just a little dot. And then I'm going to use, this is a cute one I got in one of my boxes. So it's just a little, that doesn't help, I'm so pale. It's just a little round brush. Um, I did clean it, it's from yesterday. It has a little of the dark stuff on it, but it's clean. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just dab it in the outer corner and kind of blend it in and then blend it up and around. And then actually I'm gonna switch to a fluffier brush and really blend that in. Hmm. Awesome. And then same thing on the other side. Outer corner and then dub, grab that around. And then I'm using my bigger fluffy brush to really diffuse the edges so that it's a really soft application and there are no lines. Ah, voila. All right, then, uh, actually I'm gonna show you. So let's add a little bit of a shimmer. If you have shimmer eyeshadows at home, you know, even highlighters, um, just a nice wash of color. So I'm gonna use my loose fluffy and I'm going to go with this color right here it's kind of like a champagne or a pearl and I'm just dusting that all over my mobile lid and then a little bit under my eyebrow and to use a highlighter for this step is actually amazing as well there So for the eyes, we're not going to use eyeliner for this, but we are going to use mascara. Um, I'm going to put on my heated lash curler. If you have a lash curler at home, go ahead and gently clamp and lift and twist. 
I use a heated one. I got this on Amazon. Um, it's called the New Eye Curl 2. I've been using these for like over 10 years now. And this one actually broke in my kit. I don't know if you can see it separated a little bit. So I'm using it on myself now. And uh, it's, anyways, it's been fine. It's been 10 years. So once it's on, it's warm. Um, you can actually go underneath your lashes and then just kind of lift up your lashes and the heat will keep it in place. Okay, and then go in with your mascara and you can go ahead, if you have bottom lashes that are visible or you want to enhance, go ahead and just gently go side to side underneath and that will just deposit a light amount of mascara to your bottom lashes. And then for up top, I go under and I kind of twist and curl it so it's right at the roots. I wiggle back and forth and then I keep wiggling as I pull through. And this wiggling, going to the root, wiggling back and forth as I pull through will actually comb my lashes and make sure that the whole lash gets coated in mascara. And then if you want to add a bit of length, you can actually turn it um, more vertical and come up like this and just kind of paint those tips. There's one eye. And then if you happen to get any mascara either above or below, it should be super simple to just take a flat, a flat brush and I'm gonna go back with that champagne color that I had I see just a dot there and I'm just gonna go over it and I just wipe side to side I always make sure I do both eyes even if one eye is the one that's got the problem and it just literally just smooths it off I'm gonna do the same thing under my eyes just to help clean it up a little bit all right, from there, I'm going to do a powder contour. So I'm going to set my face with my loose powder foundation to start. And I just use a round, I love my little kabuki brush, and I just go in circles and I buff the powder foundation into my skin. All right, now from there, we're gonna talk contour. So uh, I have this highlight contour duo, which is actually perfect for this look. Um, I'm going to take just, I don't even have the right brush, but that's fine. I'm just gonna take a round powder brush and the more diffuse of a brush you have, like this one is a little bit big and fluffy, the lighter it's going to be. And that's actually what we're going for for this look. So. Um, the, the key spot is this cheekbone here. Now, I actually took human anatomy, which was fun. And so I got to see the jaw and the bones and how the muscles lie. And we actually want this hollow part. So if you suck in your cheese, that hollow right there is where, and then the spot is actually where we put our hair behind our ears, like that, that spot right there. So we're literally doing just a line here. So I'm going to start at the back and come forward and then just go back and forth and just layer it a little bit. Then I'm going to come a little bit around my forehead, just like a soft halo. And then come this way. Now, I don't ever contour my nose. I think it's 3D, it, just leave it. Uh, if you want to, you can just do a hint there and a hint there. If you feel your nose is too long, you can do a hint at the very end. Uh, yeah, if your chin is too pronounced, you can contour that a little bit. 
but that's it. All right. Now, um, highlight, let's do highlight. So I have a different brush for highlight and I'm going to try this one, but I am so pale that I really need a shimmer for highlight to actually come across. So, I mean, I can put this on, but it's pretty much my skin tone. So I'm going to do the top of the cheeks here and I'm going to do just a little bit here to make the center of my forehead pop up. And then you can do just a tad on the tip of your nose, but remember don't do too much. And I'm actually gonna go over it with my champagne colored eyeshadow just on my cheeks so that I do have. And if it seems to be too much, just go over it and buff it out. Make sure you're blending we want them to be soft, okay? So then the next step is the burgundy lip, or sorry, not burgundy, maroon, <gasps> maroon. Don't do burgundy, maroon lip. So again, I'm gonna use this wander, and I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna create this shape by starting with my Cupid's bow. Now it's having a hard time transferring because of my lip gloss that I put on, so I'm gonna come a little bit higher. there. And with this, oh, my teeth look very white. I love that. I am going to go in and add a hint more of the contour um, because this is so dramatic. So just want to balance it a little bit right here. There. Okay, so we have to do the brows real quick, and I just wanted to show, I'm gonna quickly fill in with a, um, this is just a brow balm from Velour. Uh, you can use anything you like to fill in. I'm just gonna add a hint of shape here, and then I'm going to, oh, see how that just, oh, anyways, just a light natural fill in, and then comb it out with your brows. And you always wanna comb up, and then out, I have a lot of unruly brows that kind of like to go everywhere. Uh, but when you fill in your brow, especially if you're using like a fine tip pencil, this will really help make that look natural. So you always wanna make sure that you're brushing up and out. All right, and there are your brows. And then from there, uh, we want to set the face, so a little bit of setting spray. I'm just using, it's actually a pH skin normalizer, but it sets everything as a makeup setting spray, so. And from there, you are all set for your runway with Gravacci and Fashion Art Toronto. So I hope you've enjoyed this look. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at BePrettyMUA or email me at MakeupForFat at gmail.com. And I am here for any questions that you may have. I hope you have a blast with this makeup look. And remember, your lip will be on location. So if you don't have your own maroon color lipstick, that's okay. One will be provided for you with disposables. It'll all be kept super sanitary, okay? Have fun. <laughs>